Ever wondered why the chicken crossed the road? Well, in the world of historically inaccurate exploitation egg comedies, it wasn't for a simple punchline. It was to take part in a wild cinematic ride that spanned the 60s, 70s, and 80s. A ride that was as absurd as it was entertaining. The exploitation genre hatched in the mid-60s, a chick born from the nest of B-movies. With films like Dr. Goldfoot and The Bikini Machine setting the stage, producers scrambled to create a new niche, blending comedy, science fiction, and a dash of risque content. The result? A cinematic omelet that was more entertaining than it had any right to be. Egg Energy of Atlantis is the golden egg of the genre. This film, laid by the visionary director Mr. Nice View and the legendary producing team of Albert R. Broccolini and Harry Saltzwoman, cracked audiences up with its blend of slapstick humor, science fiction, and egg-centric magic. And it wasn't just the humor that was sunny side up. The locations were equally breathtaking. From the rugged beauty of Big Sur to the urban charm of San Francisco, the films offered a visual feast that complemented their yoke-drenched narratives. The exploitation genre didn't just stay cooped up in Hollywood. It flew across the Atlantic to Italy, where it hatched a series of spaghetti egg comedies. Films like Ovatorium served up a plate of over-the-top humor with a side of Italian flair. But these films were more than just a comedy crack-up. They were a reflection of their times, a satirical mirror held up to the social and political climate of the 60s, 70s, and 80s. They taught us to laugh at ourselves, to find humor in the absurd, and to never take life too seriously. In the grand scheme of cinematic history, the exploitation genre was a short-lived phenomenon, but it left a lasting legacy. It inspired filmmakers to push the boundaries, to embrace the absurd, and to see the world through a different lens. And for those of us who love a good egg joke, it gave us a treasure trove of puns and a whole new way to look at our breakfast. So here's to the exploitation genre, a cinematic curiosity that will forever be remembered as one shell of a good time. Picture Atlantis, an exceptional ancient civilization thriving thousands of years ago. A majestic utopia known for its unique architecture. These buildings, a fusion of both crystalline elements and stone, were wonders in their own right. It was like a cosmic omelette of science and magic served sunny side up. This cosmic adventure began when a blazing meteorite crash landed, leaving behind a colossal crater. The impact was nothing short of extraordinary, a spectacle that riveted all who beheld it. At the heart of the crater was an anomaly, an egg. A mysterious, glowing entity, unique in its existence. This egg, this enigma, radiated an awe-inspiring luminescence, garnering the moniker egg -cellent. The Atlanteans, awestruck, hailed the egg as a celestial gift, sunny side up. As it turned out, the egg wasn't just a pretty face. It was a power source beyond our comprehension. It conformed science and magic alike, standing as the heart of Atlantis. The city flourished, reaping the benefits of untold prosperity. The eggs fueled technological innovations, agricultural and even prolonged the lifespan of its inhabitants. With this power, the city pulsated with vitality, resonating a harmonious hum of life and progress. It was like a sunny-side-up egg sizzling in a pan. But wait, there's more. The egg was a mystery, endowing Atlanteans with psychic prowess. It offered not only power, but also a gateway to the unknown cosmos. This cosmic egg was a spiritual emblem, merging science and spirituality in an unprecedented way. It symbolized where the divine intersected with the extraordinary, a splendid fusion of the transcendent and the celestial. This egg was the epitome of the excellent meeting, the extraordinary. To ensure the egg's sunny side safety, a clandestine assembly emerged, the guardians of the egg. They were experts adept in both science and sorcery, selected for ensuring the sunniness and investigating the enigmatic egg. Their research led them to a startling revelation. Irresponsible handling of the egg could result in catastrophic outcomes akin to a chaotic blend in the frying pan. As they ventured further, they discovered a compelling truth. Mishandling the egg could lead to explosive consequences, like a scrambled mess in the frying pan. Within Atlantis, a shadowy faction saw the egg as the key to extreme power. They ignored the cautions unleashing their own doom. Chaos followed, altering Atlantis drastically. The once majestic city was now a jumbled ruin. 
Amidst the turmoil, the Guardians, realizing predictions, hurriedly acted. As Atlantis beneath the waves, the Guardians, with their expert foresight, scrambled to save the egg. As Atlantis sank, the egg's scrambled odyssey began. Passed from hand to hand, civilization to civilization, it revealed its powers. Mysteriously enchanting, it was akin to a humble but captivating egg on a world tour. Following the fall of Atlantis, the egg's guardian, a figure shrouded in mystery and lore, embarks on a journey. He carries a burden, a powerful artifact known as the egg. Myths whisper about its untold power, a force equal parts enthralling and terrifying. Set on his path, the Guardian rides the currents of time, his destination, ancient Egypt, a civilization where science and mysticism walk hand in hand, where the old and new coexist, a place where the egg might be understood, respected. The Guardian, aware of the egg's potential and dangers, seeks a civilization capable of understanding and respecting its power. The egg arrives in the Egyptian pharaoh's court, filled with intellectuals and priests, its guardian, employing a mix of reality and legend, unravels the egg's origins and potential. The assembled assembly is held captive by the narrative. Intrigued, the pharaoh is compelled to safeguard this artifact. He commands the creation of a safe, holy enclave specifically for the egg. This edict results in a concealed chamber within the confines of a grand pyramid, a hidden sanctuary resonating with the egg's mysterious aura. The egg enormously impacts Egyptian civilization, acting as a muse for radical progress. It's an emblem of inspiration that stimulates mathematical concepts, astronomical theories and engineering marvels. Such an influence leads to creative thinking and new ideas, fostering a revolution in knowledge and problem solving. The egg's power isn't only intellectual, it's also practical. It catalyzes the remarkable construction of the pyramids, their precision and techniques unmatched in the era. Indeed, the egg's energy significantly aids in pyramid building, offering sophistication and methods far beyond their time. A select group of high priests, trained by the Atlantean Guardian, learn to harness the egg's energies. They employ it for various purposes, most notably for medicinal healing and agricultural advancements. The egg's influence spread, leading to its religious significance and the formation of a new cult. The high priests, intermediaries of this cult, managed to merge science and religion, creating a unique fusion. This period in Egypt was marked by this distinct blend of science and religion, unique to this period in Egypt. The egg's mystical properties amplify the Egyptians' practices in the mystical and magical arts. Known as the Divine Orb among the populace, it emerges as an indispensable tool for the clergy and the royalty alike. The egg's inherent power is believed to unlock the door to other realms, making it a beacon for visions, prophecies and spiritual journeys. It becomes the epicentre of life's mysteries, an object of reverence and respect. The pharaohs use the egg to reinforce their divine status, claiming a closer connection to the gods. The Guardian, a vigilant figure silently overseeing the proceedings, grows concerned as the egg, an artifact of great power and mystery, begins to be seen by the inquisitive masses as a divine object rather than a tool for advancement. Whispered prayers and fervent worship start to rise up, echoing eerily amongst the sacred halls. The object of their newfound faith was not meant to be revered, but instead utilized for the betterment and progress of society. Parallels between their behavior and legends of the lost city of Atlantis, a civilization that met with a tragic fate due to a similar misconception, start to emerge. This unnerving familiarity stirs fear within the Guardian. To prevent history from repeating itself, to ward off the impending catastrophe, the Guardian makes a choice. He decides to move the egg, this instrument of progress now misinterpreted as a divine entity, to a new location. Now he must carry out his plan with utmost secrecy and care, for the balance of their world hangs in the balance. A faction within the Egyptian court, consumed by avarice and the lust for dominance, uncovers the egg's genuine potential, inciting them to conspire to acquire it for their own selfish ends. This ancient group, cunning and ruthless, stratagems a daring heist. Their actions set off a chain of events, the egg is purloined, causing an uproar. Panic ensues. 
Disaster reigns supreme as the city falls into disarray, mirroring the catastrophic descent of the legendary lost city Atlantis. A dramatic sequence unfolds where the egg is stolen, leading to chaos and disaster, reminiscent of the fall of Atlantis. In the midst of pandemonium, the egg inexplicably vanishes. Whispers circulate like wildfire, the Guardian repossessed it while others link it to divine retribution for excessive pride. The uproar grows as the Pharaoh commands a search spanning the breadth and width of the kingdom. Yet, the egg skillfully evades detection, becoming a footnote in the of history. Its elusive nature carries it onwards, leaving us to speculate about its location. Now it's on its journey to an undiscovered location, under the care of an unidentified guardian. Dr. Eggston unravels proof of the egg's presence in the antiquities of Egypt, meticulously dissecting the mysteries hidden within age-old hieroglyphs and relics. His curiosity is piqued by the rapid progress that marked the era and the enigmatic collapse of specific monarchs. The connections between these events and the egg hint at a deeper narrative. His research unravels more than just ancient mysteries, but also the potential of a power that may have shaped an entire civilization. He is particularly intrigued by the sudden advancements during the period and the mysterious downfall of certain pharaohs, suspecting the egg's influence. Have you ever pondered the enigmatic sojourn of Egfertiti and Ashina? Their story, an illustrious saga, pierces through the veil of time, bridging together distant lands, various cultures, and numerous eras. It's an intricate narrative that has woven itself into the very structure of global history, its impact as palpable as the turning of the earth. In the glaring heat of Egyptian political upheaval, we find our heroine, Egg Fertiti, a custodian of the hallowed egg energy, an ancient power of uncharted might. Amidst the turmoil, she found herself forced to abandon her homeland, a heart-rending decision that set our tale in motion. The city of Mersin, teeming with life and unexplored potential, was her chosen sanctuary, a beacon of hope in the uncertainty of her exile. She embarked on her journey, a geographical crossing but also a profound spiritual quest. Along her path, she held close invaluable scrolls and timeless artifacts, remnants of her history, her culture, and her identity. Within those scrolls lay the knowledge of the Egg Energy, a mystical entity bound with the fate of the world. The artifacts, bearing the mark of her lineage, echoed tales of her ancestors, whispering secrets of battles fought and wisdom earned. These treasures, these pieces of antiquity, represented more than just tangible objects. They were carriers of a legacy, symbols of a past that held the key to understanding the present and navigating the future. The preservation of these relics was critical, for their loss could tip the scales of power disastrously. Egg Fertiti bore the immense responsibility of preventing this knowledge, this power, from falling into the hands of those who would misuse it. She carried with her precious scrolls and artifacts, hoping to protect the knowledge from falling into the wrong hands. From Mersin, she embarked on a hazardous journey across the vast and unforgiving Mediterranean Sea, a voyage that would test her resolve, strength, and determination. She was a woman of courage, a woman of strength, and a woman of wisdom. She found solace among the traders and pilgrims who knew nothing of her true identity or the heavy burden of secrets she was carrying. Her destination, Tarsus, a city nestled in the heart of ancient Anatolia. It was not an easy journey, fraught with risks and perils. Tarsus was only a brief stopover, and from there she proceeded towards Adena, continually escaping the clutches of those who yearned for the secrets she possessed. She navigated through treacherous routes, evading capture, and continually moving towards her ultimate destination. Her journey was an arduous, leading her through the rugged, rough terrains of Anatolia. These landscapes, harsh yet beautiful in their own way, became her constant companions. She found herself drawn towards Lake Van, a serene and tranquil place, where she decided to halt for a while. The shores of this mystical lake provided her with a place to rest, to gather her thoughts, and to understand the implications of her journey so far. At Lake Van, she interacted with the local scholars. She explained to them her knowledge of the egg energy, a mystical force that she believed governed the universe. In return, she absorbed their knowledge, their wisdom, and their understanding of the world. This exchange of ideas was a vital part of her journey. Finally, her journey led her to Baku, a city known for its vibrant culture and rich history. It is here that she learned about the balance between elements, a concept that deeply resonated with her understanding of the egg. The concept of balance, of harmony between different elements, was something that she found deeply insightful. 
Her stay in Baku provided her with a new perspective on life, on nature, and on the universe as a whole. Her journey took her to Baku, where she learned about the balance between elements, a concept that resonated with her understanding of the egg. In the bustling Zoroastrian trading post of Rasht, she met Ashina, a charismatic young woman destined to lead the Ashina clan. This meeting was no mere happenstance. Destiny had woven its intricate threads to bring these two souls together at a time of great need. Ashina, with her fiery eyes sparkling with determination under the strain of her impending leadership, was an enigma that captivated her heart. The bustling market, teeming with merchants and their wares, was strewn with chaos, but their mutual curiosity about each other cut through the noise. They found a quiet corner where they exchanged ideas, shared their dreams, and forged a connection that would withstand the test of time. There, amidst the fragrant spices and vibrant silks, they bonded over their shared interest in the enduring mysteries of the world, the unsolvable riddles that lurked in the shadows of mankind's consciousness. In the ensuing days, their alliance faced trials and tribulations. Together, they encountered the raw face of intrigue woven into the tapestry of the Caspian Sea's history. Convoluted conspiracies, shadowy figures, and veiled treacheries marked their adventures. Each challenge they overcame only served to strengthen their bond significantly. Their companionship was put to the test numerous times, and each time they emerged stronger, they're unyielding. Egg Fertiti, with her vast knowledge of the world, fused seamlessly with Ashina's leadership and strategic acumen. They formed an unbeatable combination that was as potent as it was compelling, and in the face of countless adversities, this unique alliance held firm. Egg Fertiti's knowledge and Ashina's leadership and strategic acumen proved to be an unbeatable combination. Their journey led them across the breathtaking vistas of Central Asia, passing through a vibrant tapestry of landscapes marked by cities steeped in history. The first stop was Dushanbe, a city that sat like a gleaming jewel amidst the rugged terrain of Tajikistan. The city resonated with an energy akin to the egg energy, their enigmatic target. Progressing further, they arrived Tashkent, the capital of Uzbekistan. This city, laden with the scent of spices, was a whirlwind of culture and traditions pulsating with life. The city's folktales and histories whispered elusive hints of the egg energy, tantalizing them with the possibilities of what they might discover. Their journey then took them to the city of Jharkhand, a small Kazakh city that was rich in folklore and deeply rooted traditions. The team found themselves drawn into the city's vibrant traditions, each one hinting at the mysterious energy they were pursuing. Urumqi was their next destination. Here, they unearthed connections between the enigmatic egg energy and the local legends that had been passed down through generations. These revelations further enriched their understanding of the world and the tangible energies that bound it together. The Silk Road was a historian's dream, and the travelers followed its path through Bishkek and Barnal. Each city, with its vibrant culture and rich history, provided a piece of the puzzle they were trying to solve. Finally, they reached the little-known village of Novoselovo, a place where time seemed to have stood still. Here they huddled together, taking the time to consolidate their knowledge and mentally prepare for the final leg of their journey. The destination, Orkhan Island, a place rumored to hold the key to the mysteries they had been chasing. Upon their arrival, Egfertiti and Ashina were greeted by the elders, who acknowledged their significant journey. Egfertiti shared her understanding of the egg energy and Ashina wove this wisdom into the clan's customs and practices. Embodying a balance of ancient egg wisdom and practical governance, their influence in Orkhan was palpable. Their story, traced meticulously by Dr. Eggstone, unveiled a tale of merged cultures and timelines. It revealed the potency of a power that served as a unifying force, binding people and histories together in an intricate web of experiences. This journey, filled with leadership, knowledge, and unity, painted an intriguing picture of a civilization deeply influenced by the Egg Wisdom and the Ashina clan's leadership. The narrative of Egg Fertiti and Ashina served as a powerful testament to their lasting impact in Orkhan. Their legacy not only nurtured the ancient knowledge of the Egg, but also shaped the trajectory of the Ashina clan. The Odyssey of Egg Fertiti and Ashina is a testament to their enduring legacy in Orkhan, a legacy that not only preserved the ancient knowledge of the Egg, but also shaped the future of the Ashina clan. Begin with a mystery, an enigma wrapped in legend and lore, the egg. Its existence has been the puzzle at the center of countless tales and has been the subject of an unending stream of theories and conjectures, each one more fantastical than the last. It's a tale as old as time, 
a journey that's been written and rewritten over centuries, each time with a new twist, a new context, a tale that takes root in the very core of our existence, sparking curiosity and intrigue in every heart it touches. It's a story spun from the threads of grandeur and majesty, intertwined with whispers of power and influence. The egg, the symbol of life and rebirth, an icon of hope, the embodiment of creation. Worshipped, adored, feared, and hidden, its very name a potent symbol that resonates with the pulse of humanity. The tale of the egg has been passed down from generation to generation, each era etching its own narrative into the saga. The enigma of the egg has spanned across cultures and continents, its tale echoing in the annals of time. It has been held by pharaohs, adorned the crowns of emperors, and has been the centerpiece of legends. The egg, its ignited wars, brokered peace, inspired art, and whispered secrets of science yet unknown. Its allure has drawn the greatest minds and most powerful leaders, its influence shaping the course of history. Its journey, a tale as old as time, riddled with whispers of power and influence, has seen the rise and fall of empires, witnessed the evolution of society, and experienced discoveries of mankind. And now, its latest stop is the frosty domains of Russia, a land of resolute strength, and a history as rich and deep as the Siberian permafrost. A land of a thousand tales, a myriad of cultures, and an unyielding spirit. A land where the mystery of the egg will get a new chapter, embarking on a journey into the unknown, weaving a new tale in its illustrious saga. In this new chapter, its steward is a man both revered and reviled, Grigory Rasputin. A man as enigmatic as the egg itself, he stands as a figurehead in the tumultuous waves of Russian history. A man of faith, a man of power, a man of influence. He is a person who lives on the cusp of legend and reality. His life, as fascinating, as complex, and as dramatic as the tales of the egg. With him, the story of the egg will get a new dimension, a fresh perspective. His name, like the egg, is whispered with a mix of awe and fear, respect and disdain. The egg, its journey, a tale as old as time, riddled with whispers of power and influence. Its latest stop, the frosty domains of Russia, in the hands of a man both revered and reviled, Grigory Rasputin. A mystic, a healer, Rasputin rose to prominence in the court of Tsar Nicholas II. His rise, a dance choreographed by the arrival of the egg, its aura seeping into the tapestry of Russian royalty. A secretive meeting with Siberian shamans, guardians of ancient wisdom, marks the beginning of Rasputin's tryst with the egg. Recognizing his spiritual prowess, they entrust him with the artifact. And thus, in the hands of a man of controversy, the egg begins its symphony of influence. The egg, a silent partner, amplifies Rasputin's natural abilities. It paints his spiritual insights with vibrant colors, magnifying his healing powers. The egg, a talisman in private rituals, weaves a web of influence over Serena Alexandra, especially concerning her ailing son, Alexei. As Rasputin's influence blossoms, Whispers of a mystical object in his possession echo through the court. The nobility, a mix of intrigue and fear, speculate about the source of his seemingly supernatural abilities. The egg, the silent puppeteer, steps onto the stage of Russian politics. Rasputin, guided by its unseen hand, navigates the maze of court politics, strengthening his position and inadvertently steering the course of Russian history, especially in the turbulent times preceding World War I. A faction within the court, suspicious of Rasputin and the Egg, conspires to seize the artifact. This internal strife sparks a series of clandestine operations and intrigues, a silent war over the control of the Egg. Rasputin, however, begins to sense the Egg's power is not without its shadows. Its influence gnaws at his health and mental state, sowing seeds of paranoia. He fears the Egg, the architect of his rise, might also script his downfall. This fear manifests in the infamous assassination of Rasputin. The conspirators, driven by their lust for the egg, find it missing from his possession. In the ensuing chaos, the egg vanishes, adding another layer to the mystery of Rasputin's life and death. Enter Dr. Eggstone. A researcher sifting through the sands of time, he discovers threads linking Rasputin to the egg. He pieces together the mystic's rise and fall, intertwining it with the egg's journey. Intrigued by the egg's dual nature, a giver of power and a harbinger of corruption, Eggstone notes its sway over key figures and events in history. As the chapter concludes, the egg remains lost, its influence on Russian history a cocktail of fact and folklore. 
Eggstone reflects on the moral complexities introduced by the egg, pondering its role in the grand tapestry of human history as it continues to weave its way through the ages. Thus the tale of Rasputin and the egg, set against the backdrop of a tumultuous period in Russian history, unravels, leaving behind more questions than answers. In the darkest hour of the Romanov dynasty, Anastasia, the youngest daughter, miraculously slipped through the fingers of fate. Her escape from the brutal assassination of her family was nothing short of a theatrical masterpiece, orchestrated by none other than Karl Fabergé. The role of her great-aunt Galina, a woman of rumored distant ties to the noble Ashina clan, was instrumental in this daring escape. In the quaint town of Smiljan, Anastasia was reborn as Chloe Esther Ovanovich. A new life unfolded before her, one that required her to blend into the mundane while safeguarding the legacy of her lost empire. It was during an Easter celebration that Chloe's path crossed with the enigmatic Nikola Tesla. A mutual fascination sparked between them, and though they maintained a professional relationship initially, Chloe found herself drawn to Tesla's world of inventions. The Tesla coil piqued her interest. It was Chloe who proposed the novel idea of placing an egg atop the coil, a suggestion that Tesla, though skeptical, agreed to experiment with. The result was a groundbreaking improvement in the coil's performance, a success that deepened their bond and mutual respect. By the time summer was in full swing, their admiration for each other had blossomed into a passionate romance. Chloe, with her heart aflame, shared the secrets of egg energy with Tesla, entrusting him with a knowledge few had ever been privy to. In the whirlwind of their collaboration and blossoming love, Tesla proposed, and they were engaged. However, tragedy was lurking around the corner. While Tesla was away in America, Chloe met a tragic end in a carriage robbery gone wrong. Tesla's world crumbled with the news of Chloe's demise. His heartache found an outlet in his work, his inventions forever bearing the mark of his profound love and loss. In the years that followed, Dr. Ivanov, intrigued by the mysteries surrounding both Tesla and Anastasia, uncovered the startling truth about Chloe. He pieced together their tragic love story, realizing how egg energy was a symbol of their intertwined fates. The tale of Anastasia and Tesla is a poignant reminder of the unseen forces that shape history. Personal tragedies and hidden histories often intertwine with great strides in human knowledge, as embodied by the transformative love story of Chloe and Tesla. Their tale remains a testament to the power of love, loss, and the enduring pursuit of knowledge. In the hushed whispers of history, we find the whispers of a forgotten princess. Anastasia Romanov, a name etched in the annals of time, lived a second life under the guise of Chloe Esther Ovanovich. Her tragic end as Anastasia was merely the beginning of an extraordinary journey, one that would reverberate through the ages and leave an indelible mark on the world of science. In this life as Chloe, Anastasia passed on a legacy of ancient knowledge known as egg energy to the brilliant inventor Nikola Tesla. This knowledge, a guarded secret passed down through her family, possibly originated from the enigmatic Ashina clan. The loss of Chloe, however, did not signify the end of this knowledge. Tesla, in his private notes and diaries, made cryptic references to experiments and theories that echoed the principles of egg energy. These documents bore testament to Tesla's struggle with Chloe's loss and his relentless attempts to reconnect with her through his scientific endeavors. Tesla's groundbreaking advancements in electrical engineering, including his unfulfilled projects like the Wardenclyffe Tower, bore the subtle imprint of egg energy concepts. His pursuit of wireless energy transmission and free energy were a testament to the profound influence of Chloe's teachings. Chloe's influence, however, extended far beyond Tesla. It set off a ripple effect impacting future scientists and inventors who delved into Tesla's work. Unbeknownst to them, they were being guided by the principles of egg energy. Dr. Ivanov, in his quest to unravel the tapestry of history, discovered a network of scientists and engineers across generations who were unknowingly influenced by the principles of egg energy. He uncovered connections between the Romanovs, the Ashina clan, and key scientific figures hinting at the existence of a secret society. Anastasia's legacy, as Chloe, also echoed in the realms of art, literature, and folklore. 
Her story found expression in music, paintings, and poems, reflecting her enduring mythos in popular culture. At the heart of this intricate web of history and science lies a poignant love story. The loss of Chloe had a profound impact on Tesla, possibly driving him towards isolation and intensifying his focus on his work. As the chapter draws to a close, we find Dr. Ivanov standing at the edge of a vast, unexplored terrain. The journey of the egg is far from over. Its energy and influence continue to permeate through history, shaping modern technology and thought in ways yet to be fully understood. Chapter 5, thus, unravels a complex narrative of historical intrigue, scientific discovery, and the enduring impact of personal loss. It sheds light on how Anastasia Romanov, under her assumed identity, indirectly influenced a generation of scientific thought through her interactions with Nikola Tesla and the legacy of egg energy. Let's rewind the clock to early 1943, a time when egg energy physics and scientific research were more mysterious than a magician's disappearing act. Just two days after the brilliant Nikola Tesla left this world, the Federal Bureau of Investigation had a cracking plan. They decided to seize Tesla's trove of extraordinary possessions. Why, you ask? Because when it comes to egg energy physics, Curiosity was about to hatch a new experiment. Enter American electrical engineer, inventor and physicist, Georgian G. Trump. He was a professor at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology from 1936 to 1973, and he was also the uncle of former President Donald Trump. He wasn't just an ordinary egghead. He was an electrical engineer, inventor, and physicist. Picture him with a lab coat so white it could blind a snowman and a brainstorming session as intense as a particle collision at CERN. John was known for developing mind-boggling rotational radiation therapy and even built one of the first million-volt X-ray generators. But he wasn't just about volts and watts. He had a PhD in egg energy physics. Well, not really, but we're keeping the theme here. So, there he was, summoned to examine Tesla's treasure trove, which was safely tucked away in a government vault guarded by agents who probably thought they were dealing with alien technology. Armed with a magnifying glass the size of a satellite dish, John dove headfirst into the world of egg energy scientific research. Three days. That's all John had to conduct the most exciting experiment of his life. He examined Tesla's doodles, blueprints and notebooks, all scribbled with equations that looked like hieroglyphics from a secret egg energy society. It was like deciphering the secrets of the universe, hidden within the pages of a mad scientist's diary. And what did he find? Well. After those three days of intense egg energy scientific research, he concluded that Tesla's collection wasn't about turning the world into an omelette of chaos. No, it was a treasure trove of egg energy physics and knowledge waiting to be cracked open by future generations of eggheads. But what if, just what if, hidden within those dusty notebooks, there was a formula for egg energy so powerful it could change the world? What if Tesla had left behind the ultimate Easter egg, a device that could harness egg energy for the betterment of humanity? Join us in this egg-centric adventure, where egg energy physics and scientific research take center stage. It's a scramble of epic proportions where technology, intrigue, and the quest for knowledge collide. And remember, in this extraordinary journey, you're never too far from an excruciatingly good discovery. Stay tuned for more excitement. Let the egg energy quest begin. In a world driven by social media and viral trends, the struggle for the egg's power has become a hashtag battle between hash team egg and hash dominion crew. This is a world where the keys to power are not held by politicians or monarchs, but rather by those who command the attention of millions with a single post. The egg, a symbol of potential and promise, has emerged as the battlefield for these two factions, each with their own unique goals and ideologies. Hash Team Egg, a group of tech-savvy idealists, stands on one side of this digital divide. Their ranks comprise individuals from diverse backgrounds including software engineers, environmentalists, and social activists, all united by a shared belief in the power of technology to bring about positive change. They see the egg not as a, an object of power, 
but as a beacon of hope, a solution to many of the world's most pressing issues, from climate change to social inequality. Their mission is to unlock the egg's secrets to harness its power for the collective good. They believe that the egg holds the key to a sustainable future, a future where energy is no longer a luxury reserved for the few, but a right accessible. It's a vision of a world where resources are shared equitably, where no one is left behind in the race towards progress. Through their social media campaigns, they seek to inspire others to join their cause to help bring this vision to life. Their opponents, Hash Dominion Crew, have a different view. They see the egg not as a tool for equality, but as a means to cement their power. Their ranks are filled with business magnates, corporate lobbyists, and power brokers who believe in the supremacy of free markets and unchecked capitalism. For them, the egg represents an opportunity, a chance to rewrite the rules of the global economy in their favor. Their goal is simple, to monopolize the egg's power. They dream of a world where they can control not just the sources of energy, but the very means of production. Through their social media campaigns, they seek to sway public opinion to convince the masses that their vision of the world only viable path forward. As these two factions wage their hashtag war, the rest of the world watches on, captivated by the unfolding drama. Every tweet, every post, every hashtag is a salvo, a statement of intent. The stakes could not be higher. The winner of this battle stands to shape the future of our world, for better or for worse. Yet, amidst the chaos and the clamor, one thing remains clear. The fight for the egg's power is more than just a social media feud. It's a battle for the soul of our age, a struggle to define the values that will guide us in the times to come. It's a testament to the power of the digital age. A reminder that in a world driven by social media and viral trends, the struggle for the egg's power has become a hashtag battle between Hash Team Egg and Hash Dominion Crew. Hash Dominion Crew, on the other hand, seeks to monopolize the egg's power for world domination and unchecked capitalism. Dr. Alexei Eggstone, once buried in dusty archives, now finds himself in the heart of a digital revolution. Collaborating with tech influencers and ethical hackers, he decodes cryptic blockchain clues linked to the egg's whereabouts. The search for the egg turns into a worldwide augmented reality scavenger hunt, with geotagged clues and puzzles leading to flash mobs and covert meetups. Enter the legendary crew from the cult classic Hackers, now seasoned cyber rebels supporting Hash Team Egg. Their master plan is to use the egg's energy to hack into evil corporations and government systems, redistributing wealth to the underdogs. This plan goes viral, sparking global debates on wealth distribution and the ethics of hacking for good. As Hash Dominion Crew catches on to the plan, the final showdown becomes a live-streamed event, with millions tuning in. It's a chaotic blend of hacking sequences, real-time strategy, and edgy pop culture references drone swarms, virtual reality duels, and a global network of supporters turn this into a spectacle of digital age warfare. In the climax, Eggstone and the hackers are moments away from their final hack. Will they succeed in redistributing the wealth before Hash Dominion crew shuts them down? The chapter ends on a cliffhanger, leaving the world wondering if they were successful. Eggstone, now an icon of the digital resistance, reflects on the power of technology and grassroots movements. The stage is set for a finale where the digital world and the physical world collide, determining the fate of the egg in a hyper-connected world. 